Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup features the Seattle Pilots versus the Cleveland Indians at Cleveland Stadium. On the mound for the Pilots today is John Gelnar, whose record is 7-1 with a 4-14 ERA. And pitching for the Indians today is Louis Tiant, whose record is 13-13 with a 3-94 ERA. Okay, we lost the first game against the Indians. Uh, we were really never in that game. We committed four errors um, that led to several unearned runs, and there was really nothing we could do. We, we're not going to win every game the rest of the month. Um, we just need to make sure that we win the games that are winnable, and that was not one of them. We had no shot at all. Uh, so we go into game two today uh, against a pretty good pitcher, Louis Tiant, of course, um, you know, borderline Hall of Fame pitcher. If you take a look at our standings, we remain a half game back thanks to Oakland y losing yesterday. And uh, Cleveland is keeping pace with Baltimore. They're three and a half back, but uh, they are, um, you know, right there alongside of uh, Baltimore in the last, what, five games there. So uh, they're playing pretty well. And uh, that is our challenge for today is to get over on Louis Tiant and the Indians. Uh, we only have two batters uh, on our team on the bench or in the lineup that are batting over 250 in the last 20 games. So our hitting has kind of gone cold and we need our, uh, our lineup to uh, come through for us today. John Gilnar is on the mound. He has yet to ever face the Indians. So uh, nothing to go on there. Bruce Brubaker and Dick Bates. Uh, neither one are available today, so that's two righties uh, that we will not be able to go to. John Gelnar has only pitched six innings twice this season as a starter, and so I don't think we have a lot of hope there that he'll get beyond five if he even gets that far. Here's our lineup today versus Louis Tiant. I did take Tommy Ag out of the lineup. He's listed as tired, so Don Bosch will get the start. And we're just going with the better hitting, better defensive options like uh, Van Kelly over Gary Sutherland and Mike Hegan over Lou Pinella. Um, I feel like that's our best shot at winning ball games right now. So let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the Seattle Pilots. Batting leadoff playing shortstop is Freddie Patek. Batting second in, and playing third base is Rich Rollins. Batting third in left field is Mike Hegan. Batting cleanup playing first base is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth in right field is Joe Pepitone. Batting sixth in center field is Don Bosch. Batting seventh playing second base is Van Kelly. Batting eighth and catching is Jerry McNurtney. And batting ninth is the pitcher Gelnar. Okay, let's take a look here at Louis Tiant. Uh, he is making his career high 33rd start. 13 and 13 with a 394 ERA. 180 strikeouts in 230 and two thirds innings pitched. He's got eight complete games and two shutouts. Fastball topping out at 94 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is right around 40%. So he's a fly ball pitcher. This guy's got six pitches. I don't remember if this is true or not. But in descending order, he's got a fastball rated an 88, a curveball that's an 81, a slider that's a 74, a change of palm, and a knuckleball. So we'll keep our eye out for that knuckleball. It's rated a 59. That is the lowest rated pitch I think I've seen in the game. Overall, he's an 82. The 28-year-old righty goes to free agency uh, in 1972. Let's look at his log. Um, let's see here. He has yet to face us, or at least in the last 20 starts, he has not faced us. And he's coming off a complete game shutout over the White Sox. So that is uh, maybe good for us because... He might be giving up some more runs to even that out today. Here's the Indians' defense. You'll see here, first, second, and shortstop. 
below league average on the infield, and then we've got Hinton out and left that is not even rated a 70. So they've got some different players in the lineup today. Okay, Freddie Patek leading off against Louis Tiat. El Tiate. And Patek hits a ground ball to short for out number one. Patek's average down to 271. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm kind of curious here. Yeah, betting 244 in his last 20 games before that at bat. So here's Rich Rollins. He's one of two players that is betting over 250 uh, in the last 20 games. Rollins gets a base hit into center field. So we have a runner on with Mike Hegan up. Hegan betting 247 versus right. He's two for four, and he does have a home run against Tiat. Tiat walks him to bring up Darren Johnson, the other batter of the two that's above 250. Average at 284 overall with 14 home runs. 2-2 count. And he goes to right field for a base hit. Come on, Rollins. Are we going to send the runner home? Oh, man. They have Nagelson out in right field today. And he's got an 83 arm. That is an upgrade uh, over whomever was out there yesterday. I can't remember. Not worth it when we have Joe Pepitone up. Um, Pepitone's got a 402 slugging percentage. Let's, um... Oh, man. Do we just let him swing away here? Like, let's have him go big or go home. Where's it at? Uh, swing away right there. Uh, let's let him swing away here. I mean, we need a big fly. This could be a double play as well. Although he's a 60% fly ball pitcher. Here we go. Right down the middle, and he hits it to right. That's going to be tough for Rollins as well. A 50% chance. We've got to take a chance. And he is safe at home. There we go. And he could advances on the throw. So it's one nothing Seattle. Play a little aggressive base running there. Two down runners on first and second. I'm sorry, first and third with Don Bosch up. Bosch filling in for AG today. And he hits a grounder to short. And that is out number three. So we strand a couple runners. We get a run. It's one nothing. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Indians for today. Batting leadoff in right field is Russ Nagelson. Batting second in left field is Chuck Hinton. Batting third, playing second base, is the rookie Billy Parker. Batting cleanup at first base is Norm Cash. Batting fifth and catching is Duke Sims. Batting sixth at third base is Max Elvis. Batting seventh at shortstop is Lou Camilli. Batting eighth in center field is Jose Cardinal. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Louis Tiant. Okay, John Gilnar. I mean, somebody's got to go. This is his 15th start today. He's 7-1. He has not had a decision in his last six starts, dating back to August 5th. He's got a 4.14 ERA, 57 strikeouts, and 78. And a third innings pitch. The points are being 282. Fastball topping out at 91 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is right around 46%. It's a one-pitch pitcher uh, with a fastball rated in 85, a curveball that's useless. Overall, 77, the 26-year-old ready, is arbitration eligible at the end of 1971. Look at his log for yourself. And you'll see that he went three innings, giving up eight hits in his last start. Four and a third, five and two thirds, five, five, giving up tons of hits. A lot of runs in there, uh, just not great. And um, I kind of feel like he's another starter that hit his innings threshold, and now he's been weakened by that. Um, here is our defense. I don't think it matters, the ratings, uh, because we had our, one of our best defenses in there yesterday, and we had uh, four errors. So, I mean, what are you going to do? First base, Darren Johnson, and our catcher, McNerty. Below league average, everywhere else we're solid. Here we go, Russ Nagelson leading off. We did not see him yesterday. Nagelson, that could be multiple bases. 
Yep. A leadoff double for Nagelson. That is his eighth of the year. So a runner in scoring position already with Chuck Hinton up. Playing straight away. 2-2 count. Fly ball into left field. Caught by Hegan. Wait, what? And Nagelson tags and takes third? What the hell, man? That's ridiculous. All right, let's pull the infield in. I don't think it's going to make a difference, but we need to try to prevent any run from scoring right now. Billy Parker up. Fly ball to left. Well, Nagelson's got to tag now. He does, and he scores. Just like that, we're tied at one. Two down for Norm Cash, and he goes deep. It's two to one. This Indians team is tough. They made a lot of trades. Parker, Cash, uh, and Card... Uh, no, no, not Cardinal, I don't think. Um, but, yeah, they're, they're good, and there's not much we can do about it. As we go to the top of the second, with Van Kelly leading off. Van Kelly, he's got a home run in his career versus Tiat. Ground ball in the hole at second. Play made by Billy Parker. One down for McNerty. McNerty strikes out. First K for Tiat. And Gelnar. Fly ball to left. Excuse me. Going to the bottom of the second. How far do we let Gelnar go here? Strikes out. Max Elvis. One out. Here's Lou Camilli. Camilli popping it up on the infield. Carrying to the outfield grass in center. Two quick outs here in the second. And a home run for Jose Cardinal. That is his 19th home run. Has he ever hit that many before? No. He's having a career year by far. 19 home runs, 81 RBI. 3-1. to one. Here's the pitcher, Tiant. Excuse me. That'll do it. All right. Top of the third. Well, I... I'm losing hope here. I guess we got our one run in the first, and that's probably going to do it for today. Rich Rollins has got one of the two hits. Yeah, this is this is not going to happen today. I, th I think it's too much to ask that Oakland lose another game. Bottom of the third. Nagelson flips it to left. He can make him a cut. Oh. We've had five errors in the series. Nagelson will go to third. No cash at the home run. Hot shot to third. And then. Whoa, was that a knuckleball? He strikes him out on a rated 59 knuckleball. Yeah. The ratings mean absolutely nothing in this ballgame. I mean, what's the point? Boss with a double. That is Bosch's, let's go, number nine, double number nine. And Van Kelly, a base hit into center field. Bosch around third, score. Oh, come on, you suck. Yeah, this game sucks. Can't score from second on a base hit to center field with two outs. And an 89 speed. Yeah. 
Fifth inning. Popping it up. That's an error. It's like we whatever the amount of errors that the game, like a player should have toward the end of the season, if you're way behind, they're just going to start tacking them on. So Geldner's got to come out. We'll bring in Lou. Make sure I... <laughs> yesterday, was it in the Tigers game or was it in the uh, Pilots game? I can't remember. I'm doing two games a day now. Uh, where I pinch ran instead of pinch hit. That was a bonehead move. All right, we're going to hit and run here. Stay out the double play with McNertney. Long ball to first. It doesn't matter. Go into the bottom of the fifth. We need a new pitcher. Well, we're low on right-handers. We do have Dick Bainey, who has been good. I guess we have to bring him in. At least for an inning. Come on, man. Here we go. All right, here we go. Jose Cardinal, Dick Bainey into the ball game. Oh, got the gold sidearm going. Oh, come on. That is the fourth error in three games by Rollins. I, I, I've seen that two or three of our followers, or the subscribers here, have purchased the new version. Like, why would you spend money on this game? It is so horrible. I mean, if you look at the new specs, they did nothing to improve the gameplay. Uh, there's nothing this game offers. Keegan goes deep, though. That might be the one gimme run to give us. That's just a lever tall run. And, I mean, at least his OPS is over 700. Not bad for a guy who'd never played every day before. You get a run back on the home run. Oh, come on. Another error. <laughs> it's so terrible. So that's five, that's nine errors in two games. They walk Kelly. Here's McNertney. I mean, not a good hitter, but he's got 60 RBI. Um, that's the second most on the team. So you may as well give him a shot. There we go, he gaps it. Is that gonna score Kelly from first? It does, and we take the lead. Look at this. No hands, Ma. Like, I'm not doing anything but pushing a button. That is how horrible this game is. You know what? Let's have uh, Steve Whitaker get a pinch hit here. I think he's one for two in pinch hits as we called him back up. Now he pops it up. All right. Well, we find ourselves with the lead. Uh, we need another pitcher. And we got two lefties coming up. So we'll bring in Ron Locke. Locke is very close to having the most innings pitched thrown by our, a reliever on our team. So I think we've really expended what he has to offer. If you take a look, this is his 61st game. Um... You know, he's got 48 strikeouts and 70 and a third. I feel like he's not striking anybody out anymore. 16 and 22. So he's on the same pace, I guess. All right. Ron Locke into the ballgame. <clears throat> he's got a righty and then two lefties. Billy Parker hits lefties well, though. Let's see how it goes here. 
0-1 count, and he hits a home run. It's all tied at four. And then a walk. And a base hit. So, yeah, our best reliever couldn't get it out. I mean, what can you say? The Indians are a good team. We'll bring in uh, Diego Sigi. Ground ball to second. We get two. With the, can't even get it. A double play with a 68 and a 65 running. Infield in. Luke Camilli. Strikeout. Looked like it was a ball four. Now we'll intentionally walk to get to the pitcher. And they should pinch hit, but who knows. Yep. They're bringing in Frank Baker. So we're going to bring in Denny Riddleberger. How do you like your burgers? Riddled with mad cow disease. I don't know. It's just a lefty on a lefty thing. I, I have no idea. It doesn't really seem to make a difference. One, two count. And Frank Baker strikes out. So we go to the top of the seventh and it's tied Horacio Pena. Well, he's thrown 75 innings in relief. And he walks as many as he strikes out. He's technically their closer coming in in the seventh. I guess that was common. Rich rounds. This game is just not fun. Riddleberger. By the way. We'll bring in Skippy. The pitcher spot. Yeah, so we might be able to get two innings out of Skippy. Ground ball to short. Ground ball that Parker. Another error? No. Okay. <clears throat> Top of the eighth inning. Darren Johnson leading off. Popping it up. Joey Pep. 2-1 count. Wow. Joe Pepitone going up Taco. His eighth home run on the season. Sixth as a pilot. That gets his OPS over 700. 700 is like average, you know? Like, I, if you don't, if you can't <laughs> have a 700 OPS, you probably shouldn't be playing in the big leagues. Well, we have the lead. Van Kelly gets it. He is really contributing. Good job by him. No. And McNertney. Shit, we got the pitcher spot up next. They're going to walk him or some crap here. Nope. Oh, starts out. Okay, that's good. So we get the lead back, and we're going to send... Oh, we don't need uh, Lockwood to pitch, right? We have two lefties. Um, at the plate. What's our lefty option? What does Skip Lockwood do versus lefties? Um, 208. Would you rather have your setup man in there, or would you bring in John Morris? He's a 265 versus lefties. I, don't know. I think we got to go with Lockwood. Maybe that's what the game wants us to do <laughs> because they didn't get to Lockwood to bat. They wanted to keep him in the ball game 
because of the lefties. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Um, okay, let's do um, let's do the defensive replacement now. Before I forget, so Higgin will go to first, um, and then we bring in Comer for left field. Okay. Rollins' percentage is down to 927. He's made 19 errors, and I bet you, I know four of them have been in the last three games. Look at the negative 12.9 range and 1.5 war. You know what? I'm taking him out. Let's put in Kessinger, who has got a 980 at third. Just can't hit a lick. He's made five. Oh no, it's nine twenty. Um. Yeah, he's he's terrible. Too. Well, let's just try to get through this inning. Here's Norm Cash. This is going to be tough. Norm Cash already got home run today. Two one count. And he pops up. Good job, Skippy. Will Kessinger catch it? That is the question. Yes, he does. One out. Duke Sims, 260 hitter, 16 home runs. Striking out, Lockwood doing a solid job versus left-handers. Here is Max Elvis. Fly ball to left. And Elvis has left the building. We go to the top of the ninth. They're going to bring in a left-hander named Mike Paul. I don't know this guy. Making his 40th appearance, 5-5, five five, with a 6.26 ERA. 45 strikeouts in 50 and two-third innings. Opponents are betting 286. Two saves, one bluey. All right, so Lockwood coming out. We will pinch hit Gary Sutherland. He crushes lefties, batting 361. Although his average is just dropping like a stone. It's a base hit to center. Good call. Our ninth hit and another error. Ten errors in two games. Unbelievable. This game is just pathetic. Here's Freddie Potek. Try to hit it to the right side. Get Sutherland over. Full count. Oh, that'll get it done. Good job. Sutherland advances. Oh, no. Now it's Kessinger up. Um, uh, what do we do here? Do we do the sack bunt? It's something he's really good at. Let's do a suicide squeeze. This is ballsy. We're going to do it. Let's go. Here we go. Sutherland going on the pitch. Suicide squeeze. Oh, two count. Oh, he gets it down. Back to the pitcher. Sutherland. Scores! We needed that bonus run. Oh my gosh. Phew! Six to four. And uh, although it's lefty got lefty, we have to let Mike Keegan take a cut. Yeah. That's what that's what always happens. Alright. Um let's uh take out McNertney for Jerry May. Get a pitcher into the ball game. That pitcher's going to be Mike Marshall, leading all of baseball with 33 saves. It's the bottom third of the lineup, and he has been really good. Let's see if we can close this out. We need this win. Here we go. Lou Camilli. I mean, this is our best defense right here. I mean, it's so good. Gets me all excited. On the base oh, it's going to be a double. All right, that run doesn't mean anything, so I don't care. Jose Cardinal. There's a ground ball. Oh, stabbed at by Kelly. Making a play. We're going to pinch hit. Someone named Cap Peterson. He's been around a while, but only had one season where he got a, enough at bats. We're going to play back. Full count to Peterson. He pops it up. 
Right on the first base chalk. Catch it, please. There we go. It's a foul out. And now we've got Russ Nagelson. Now, oh gosh, this really scares me here. He doesn't, I mean, he's got great power. He's only had nine home runs. But once we go to bat, and I swear to God, I'm going to snap my laptop in half. <laughs> I might do it. Let's see what happens here. Runner in third, two down. This is the ball game. Full count. And he strikes him out. The Pilots come back and win. Six to four. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy stakes. Are we in first by ourselves? Uh, I don't see the headline down here. Take a look at the standings. Nope. The frickin' A's won as well. All right. Well, we're keeping pace. Um, the next team to be eliminated should be Cincinnati in a couple of ga uh, days. Uh, San Diego has lost 100 already. Um, Baltimore and Cleveland both lost. And the Yankees gain a game. Let's take a look at headline news. Brainiac, nothing. This game sucks. Okay. Um, wow, we got some things going down here. Whoa, Baltimore just lost Frank Robinson for the season. And, you know, the playoffs as well. So that's too bad. Down goes Robinson. Rick Russell of the Cubbies as a rookie is now done for the season. While well, they were betting 360 against him. That's not good. And Kerry Kroll of these Indians has a broken ankle. ankle. Um, looks like maybe he's their fifth starter. So who's going to start for them tomorrow against us? Jerry Hinsley. All right. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel? Question mark? Uh, let's see. Player of the game. Uh, the sack bunt was something. But I think, yeah, Joe Pepitone, with that home run, I, that gave us the lead to stay. Plus, he had two RBI. So did McNurtney, who's just amazing. Um but it's going to go to Joey Pep. Good job by him. We had four extra base hits. The win goes to S Skippy. He's 5-0 and in relief. Um, man, other than Ron Locke, our bullpen just shut him down. So, you know, I guess that's what we have to offer. Mike Marshall got his 34th save. Horacio Peña takes a loss. He's 6-8, and eight, all in relief. All right, that's going to do it for today. Uh, I am going to try to do get another game in today for the 1984 Detroit Tigers season replay. So stay tuned for that. Until then, everyone, have a great day.